Watch, one day I'm going to lift up the sky to give the gift of my prime to the kids with the wishes like mine can only dream to achieve and believe Um, well, going from a private school to this school was like a completely different change because Catholic school is so conservative and you had to wear this and you had to wear that and you had to look a certain way because let me just tell you, middle schoolers are it is leaps and bounds above everything, every other school I've been to. And then you come here and you're like, woo, everyone's weird. And it's like, yay. It doesn't compare. East Hollywood is one of a kind. And there's no other uh, high school like East Hollywood. The school is like one of those like Ned's declassified schools, survivor guy kind of school, where like it's just fun all the time. Everywhere you look, there's something cool that happens. And it's like, you're w more willing to go to the school than another school. Compared to my other school, East Hollywood is the best. Actually, compared to any of my schools, East Hollywood is the best school I've ever been to. With the best people I've ever met. Ever. Oh boy. <laughs> my favorite moment at East Hollywood. Oh my gosh, there are so many. It's hard to pick. I love everything about East Hollywood. I loved all my time here. It's kind of hard to pick a favorite. It's just been really great my whole time being here. I like the commercial class we had together. Oh, that one was fun too. I love your commercials. <laughs> um, what's different about East Hollywood is that you know everybody. One of my most memorable moments is my freshman year. Nicole Broberg picks up <clears throat> the intercom and she goes, if you do not know who Tina Turner is, get to my office right now. Rob, I don't know what you're teaching these kids in your music appreciation class, but you're obviously not teaching them right. Hangs up the phone and then Josh Wagner picks up and goes, who's Tina Turner? And Rob's like, hey, Nicole, shut up. And they just started having this like argument war over the intercom and it was the best thing ever. But there's this one specific time at a, co at a coffee house, right? At a coffee house night where just a ton of us uh, kind of hid away in a hallway and played Dungeons and Dragons. And it was freaking hilarious. It was great. Probably my favorite experience here in East Hollywood. I would have to say my favorite memory at the school was waxing Josh Wagner's legs. Here, my first year here, and we did Nerf dart dag tournaments throughout the school at, on Saturday nights once a month. Uh, just the environment and the like, just the vibes you get off of people here. It's really people here are really down to earth. They're really uh, like like they accept you a lot. Ooh, probably my favorite moment in East Hollywood is probably the first couple weeks that I came here. What I would do is I would actually go and pray like and bow down to the man bear. I'm gonna have to say probably singing with. Brandon and Nicole and my brother for lunchtime rockability has been my favorite memory. This school is definitely more accepting of who I really wanted to be. Like, I felt like I had to be someone who I wasn't when I was in public school because I didn't want to be against the grain, against the norm. So I, so this was a really beautiful chance for me to be who I was and I like who I am. All my friends at East Hollywood <clears throat> are beautiful people. Not just, you know, with their looks, but with the character and the personality. They're all amazing and accepting and respectful. And I've never felt so happy with a group of people. I met a lot of great friends here that do uh, a lot of great work. East Hollywood has changed me as a person just because of the people that I met, like the friends that I met and the teachers and how the teachers helped me and stuff like that. Uh, the, the years before I came to this school. I was in kind of a, a crappy place because um, I didn't really have many friends and uh, I just didn't like talking to people in general. But uh, when I came to the school and saw how everybody was so accepting, I, I kind of got over that. The teachers here are amazing. I love all of them. Oh, my teachers. Uh, my teachers aren't teachers, they're mentors, they're, and they're friends, like I, I can go to them when I'm having a bad day. Like they actually like pay attention to you and they can like answer your questions and they're nice to you. And... My teachers are engaging. Amazing, they're so helpful and great and funny 
and inspirational. They're my favorite part of East Hollywood. They're so nice. They're just there for you when you need them. I haven't met a single teacher here that I don't like, actually. They're all like really super awesome and chill. They really care about the students. And I guess if there's like one thing that I can say is like you go anywhere else, you're not gonna get that. Like you're not gonna get like people that care so much about like helping other people succeed in life. East Hollywood, the teachers actually care and the student body is just a lot closer and it just feels a lot nicer. Jim Snyder is probably my favorite teacher. He's just he's really smart and just as cool. Surprisingly, I'm not as shy as I used to be. <laughs> that's, that's it. It's made me become more open-minded and, you know, figuring things out for myself and realizing... Independent. Yes. That's the word. That's a good question. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I've matured a lot here. I don't know. I don't know if it's changed me that much, but like, I, you know, I when I come here, I feel like, I, like as a as a person, I feel like the same person. But when I come here, I feel a little more comfortable. You know, I like I like the environment here. It's nice. There's a sense of community here that I've never seen anywhere else. This is the biggest misfit group of friends I have ever had um, that accept me in all their little weird, quirky ways. Um, so I'm really grateful, and I don't. I think I'd be me without them. So. People are so nice. So I just don't think I'm ever gonna find like such kindness anywhere else again. So no, I don't think I've ever met one rude person that ever went here. And I think that's something that's really important that East Hollywood did teach me is that people care. Like your existence matters. East Hollywood is like best school ever. Heck yeah. Um, I I think I'm gonna miss most about the school is the the family orientedness of how everyone works together and um, the weird things that go on during the school hours. It's cool because you really feel like you connect with the teachers. What do you plan on doing after you graduate? That is a really good question. <laughs> and it's pretty great. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Goodbye, East Hollywood. Bye. Bye East Hollywood. Goodbye East Hollywood. Bye East Hollywood. Goodbye East Hollywood, I'll miss you. Goodbye East Hollywood. Man bears for life. Goodbye East Hollywood, thank you so much. Bye bye. <laughs> bye East Hollywood, hi. Goodbye East Hollywood. See ya. Never. Bye East Hollywood. Bye. Bye guys. Bye East Hollywood. Oh, no. Bye. Bye. Yeah, we saw everyone. It's good being here. Bye. Bye, East Hollywood High. Well, for now. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye, East Hollywood. I'm gonna miss you. Bye, East Hollywood. I'm gonna miss you. Bye, East Hollywood. I'll miss you. Goodbye, East Hollywood. Bye, East Hollywood. Goodbye, East Hollywood. I'm gonna miss everyone. <laughs> uh, I don't have Goodbye, East Hollywood. Goodbye, East Hollywood. I really love you. East Hollywood, stay classy. Bye, East Hollywood. Explosions. <laughs> <laughs>